Hey, Blinkin' Man Podcast here. We are the mutants, and we are here to destroy your brains with our fucking bullshit. So, Matt. Yes, you, Blake. What do you have to say here for you, for ourselves here? I don't you know. Talking, uh, well, what do you guys like to eat? Well, I, think like that's to eat? A, I think that's a good question, because... Uh, Very good question. Do we even really know what food is? I mean, I got in front of me here a, a bag of... Potato chips, I'm not going to give any names here, but... <laughs> pretty much uh, a bag of bullshit. Yeah. It's pretty much like 80% air, first of all. You charge you for mostly air. And then you get all these ingredients. Isn't that, isn't that fucking very... Isn't it, like, almost infuriating? When yeah. you buy a bag of potato chips and you realize that a quarter of the bag is potato chips? I mean, you might as well pay a dollar something for the smaller bag. Yeah. And you buy the bigger bag, thinking that there's gonna get you know you're gonna get more fucking potato chips out of it, and then you realize you open it, and it's like the same amount of fucking potato chips. Yeah, mm -hmm. and as I soon like and as soon as you touch it, you put one finger on it, and the bag just implodes, and it's just a yeah, bunch of crumbles of like, chips. I feel like everybody, from one time and another, has gone through that loss, that empty feeling. Like I don't, dude, I don't even eat. I mean, I, I will when I'm drunk, like, like as, as, as in right chips. now. But if I have a choice, I make my own. And if it comes down to it, that's what I think other people should do. It's just like, you know, you get the base ingredients, you make your own. Like, you have all these uh, that's processed the snacks, especially for kids, because, you know, we want to get them addicted to sugar early. No. And then we have do these... Do not uh, give your kids processed crap. And then we have all these uh, factory farms and large ag agricultural companies that push for subsidies for... High fructose corn syrup and easily produced garbage, yep. and then a tomato, and uh, fucking watermelons, and you know what? Well, it's, it's gotten to the cost more and more each year, even yeah. though that's the stuff we should be eating. And it's gotten to the point where you go to the grocery store and you eat a tomato, you eat a watermelon, you eat whatever. It tastes. It's like night and day mm -hmm. in taste. If you were to grow, if you, it if you can grow. imagine what the color white tastes like, that's pretty much it store-bought tomato yeah. compared to, yeah. uh, you wanna, compared to you, a home You want to try a... You want to taste a, a real tomato? Grow it yourself, people. And I have been. I've been, grow growing, yourself. I've been growing my own tomatoes for years. I've grown my own watermelons. I've grown my own zucchini, uh, bottleneck or crookneck squash, whatever they call it. I'll tell you what, though, Matt, is that I, I have made a pact. See, if I if I uh, start making a certain amount of money, obviously I can't do it now, uh, but eventually I'm going to buy... Uh, some property. This is my has, has been a kind of a dream of mine, and I will grow a huge garden and some fruit trees and some vegetable plants and whatever. And I will bring cattle onto my property, and I will slay the cattle myself. <laughs> and I have thought <coughs> to do this. No, first you give it a name, then you then you hand raise it with a bottle of milk. <laughs> And then you sing a sweet lullabies, and then yeah, five well, years later you cut its head off with a hatchet. And I don't know if I can go that far, <laughs> but you know I, I might want to keep it. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a meteor. Okay, but that's, I'll, that's tell how what, I enjoy I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. I will not go out there and shoot it in the head like a, like a typical farmer. I won't go out there and shoot it. I will go out there with a the blade in my hand and call me crazy, whatever you want to call me. But I feel like I want to fight this bull. <laughs> And may the best fucking you species crazy win. Crazy motherfucker, yeah. May the best be... You know what's right. You know what's true. <laughs> this guy, has, true, this yeah. guy has horns, and I am a fucking human, and I have a couple no, of blades. You're thinking of a bull, though. Yeah, a bull. Not like how you, you typically don't eat bulls. Why you... <laughs> like, you don't eat girl. You don't eat the it's, it's women cow, meat. do you? Yeah, you do. You're do they're they the, really? the vast majority of cows, yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, it's because uh, steer meat's more fucking tough. Huh. Well, you learn something new every day. And obviously you can't have a... You can't really you, fight you a can't, cow, You can't you? come to a cow with a blade because, uh, you know, you want to put it out of its misery pretty quickly. Right? No, 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 no. No, see, that's the thing. Is that I feel like I will, if it's a bull, yeah, I mean, if it's a cow, yeah, you're right. But... Fine, I'll eat the fucking bull. I'll eat the tough meat. Shit, fine, whatever. Well, yeah, it's fine, but... I just want the battle, man. There you go. You know, if the, if the bull earns its freedom, then it's free. Exactly. If the bull kills me, then the better species won. 
In that case, you have to go without any blades. Without any clothes, either. Well, you have to run at it. No, that's not like true, just because he screaming had, and flailing. Because and he has horns. May the so better species kind of, win. Right? Because it's kind May of, the better species win. Da, 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 da. Well, see, the gun da, thing. Da, da, da. All right, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this guy, like, totally made the better species win as I use these tools against it. Hey, well, I don't have any fucking tools. Yeah, fists against fucking horns, that's not fair. Let's make it fair. See, what I'm saying is guns are not fair. <laughs> I'm guns not are, talking about Guns are not guns fair. Are totally but knives are okay. Because they have horns. Yeah. We're talking about two let's different things right here. Let's leave it at that here. I think we're talking about two different things here. No, let's leave it at that. You don't know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about, but what I'm talking about is, you know, you kill with a knife, and it's an extraordinary <coughs> pain for its last moments. Dude, if he stabbed me with his goddamn horn... Yeah, you would be alive. How many people get gored all the time? You see people that have horns coming out of their freaking faces, they're alive. Yeah, but I wouldn't be in pain. Same fucking thing. Yes, but you're the one that's going to try to kill the bull, not the bull you. Yeah, he's trying to kill me. I guarantee you. If I try to kill him, he's going to try exactly, to fucking kill Exactly, you started me. it. Yeah, but I'm trying to fucking eat him. Well, that's why you don't. Dude, one of us has to die in order okay, for us like to survive. Okay, it's like you're talking about two different things here. You're talking about killing a bull for food and killing a bull for sport. No, I'm not trying to kill a bull for sport. See, if I was trying to kill a bull for sport, I would go out and hunt him with a gun. No, 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 you wouldn't. Because the ultimate sport, they have this already, is called bullfighting, where you fight it with a sword. Right? What's the difference that's between sport. a blade and a, and a goddamn sword? This, there's no difference. There's a big difference between a blade and a gun where the bull instantly dies versus bleeding out. Okay, fine. If I stab it in the neck, I'll shoot it in the head. I'll carry a little you pistol stab. in my pocket and my, my belt or whatever. And if I stab it in the fucking <laughs> neck or something, it's suffering, I'll shoot it in the blank. Now, the this brain. is real uncensored here, yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's a, it's a valid... <laughs> I guess it's a valid thought for a... For an asshole like for you, a crazy person, <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. mutant freak that just you know just came out of the fucking tar pits <laughs> yesterday. Ouch. Well, you know, you're gonna be the one enjoying that fucking delicious meat. So you know, hey, you're gonna help me cook it too. If a cow's if it, I, look, if a bull's trying son, to kill me, if a bull's trying to kill me, yeah. I'll, can you I'll ma- kill no. it. Can you imagine? But if I'm, I raise I'm, the my one, son? I'm the one initiating the bull confrontation... Well, I gotta eat, don't I? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, put it, if I can do it quickly so it's not in pain. See, but that's the thing. I feel like that's chicken shit. It's not chicken shit. The, I want to give what, it, what do you I think give the bull it a, would run? I want to give it a chance. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna kill it. You think so? You think, yeah, I, would, you you think I would beat a bull with two blades and... Of course you will, yeah. A bull. Mm-hmm. A full-blown fucking bull yeah. with horns and everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be easy, dude. That would be but fucking I think crazy. M- That'd be more, awesome. more than the bull winning, the human would win <coughs> if they had blades. All you have to do is, like, I mean, obviously, I'm oversimplifying it, but you grab onto a horn. If you're on its back and just stabbing it in the neck you're, repeatedly, I, I feel like you're underestimating them. Uh, the, obviously, the bull. the bull would be. I mean, bulls kill bears. Yeah, bulls obviously. are fucking crazy. But, so, it, so but, in, in re- it, I think I feel like humans should deserve some sort of like something. I mean, all we got is this, these fleshy, fucking. You know, but at the same time, we've completely dominated the planet with yeah, things uh, like blades. Uh, yeah, well, for most know. of our existence, guns didn't come out until like two hundred years ago, dude. Mm-hmm. People killed blades. Okay, fine. People killed okay, fine. Let's, blades. Let's go for back. Let's go back in time history. for a second. Let's go back in time for a second. How did we once? kill for food with arrowheads blades. and shit yeah there you go that's that's all I'm trying that's to what I'm saying that recreate here. that most of the time the human wins with blades yeah throughout history well but the fucking bull has horns I feel like yeah it's the bull thing. has horns the, for, first of all the bull has like giant ass fucking machetes on its fucking it's head machetes. pretty much it's like long there's, ass there's, machetes there's a tip and then that's it. out of its there's fucking a, there's head. a tip and then there's I mean it could whack you with its horns. Maybe Even if it didn't hit the tip, you could dude, knock you out with dude, that. But one fucking leg on a bull is like a fucking. It's like equivalent to like the muscular like stamina of a human body. Have you seen me work out, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that? Oh man. Well, anyway. So I don't know. What are your thoughts? Comment below and calm uh, down, Peter. We're not advocating the knife death of millions of bulls around the world. Well, I'm not gonna fucking you know. 
say that I'm, I don't love eating meat. You know? That's true. I'm I'm Jesus a Christ. Meat eater. I love and it. And I think it is fucked up the way we kill animals today. <laughs> by, uh, well, I keeping see that's, them, that's what I'm saying. Keeping them pent up. Like if, if that bull had uh, the, the fictional bull you're talking about that you could theoretically kill with knives mm -hmm. because, you know, you're from Assassin's Creed or whatever, <laughs> is that that bull would have had to have the life of Riley to that point. Wide open pastures, tons of cow pussy, uh, tons of anything it wanted, all the food, whatever. And then a man comes along, wants some meat, and the bull is there, yeah. and the bull, you know, it has a chance to defend itself. Yeah, I want to give it that. Like... The bull versus the gun, the bull loses. Yeah, exactly. The that's, bull will always lose. That's my whole that. point. Is I want to give it that. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to help explain your craziness to the audience here. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so he, he's coming from a a valiant place here. I'm coming from heart. I, I got a heart here. This is there's yeah. heart in this. Yeah. And, I, and I want to say also I'm against mass production. You know, obviously. I mean, there's. Maybe you heard there's, about lab grown meat? There's a lot. No, I haven't. That's a thing. They have lab-grown meat. So well, I don't want to. Very that. Why not? Lab-grown meat. Yeah. Do well, you know what the good. kind of fucking impact that would have on the world? Holy shit! That sounds dude, bizarre. You know one of the lab-grown dude. Meat. One of the highest contributors <clears throat> to uh, global warming, literally, is the farts of cows. All the methane <laughs> they produce. We have billions of cows <clears throat> that are just for human consumption, whether it's milk or meat. Right? Yeah. You have lab grown meat in a couple of generations phase out all those cows. Mm -hmm. Alright, and the lab grown meat can be sterile, can be grown in sterile conditions, so you won't need antibiotics, you won't need as much hormones as they, the, the factory farms pump into cows to get them bigger for, you know, faster slaughtering. Mm -hmm. You won't have, um, you'll, no, you'll have uh, the ability to fine tune it. And obviously, this is fledgling science here. You'll have the ability to fine tune it. Texture, flavor, fat content, everything. Yeah. Can be done in a petri dish instead of with a living animal that we then have to kill to eat. So, look, I'm. What's if you, yeah, if you, if you, if you going to What's that going to do with to the overpopulation problem of our, of our animals? What's it going to do? I mean, it's going to drastically drive down the population of the animals. You have a starter cultural cells, you can just use those cell structures, and the only thing you'd need is maybe some more tissue later on down the line after enough mutations have occurred. <laughs> Trust me, you can lamb grow meat with them way less animals than you'd need to actually slaughter a cow and feed people with it. Hmm. I don't know, man. Well, this is a deep thought here, coming. I don't know. I feel like uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like things like that are kind of um, they're kind of destroying us. Look, uh, let me let me man, finish. Here. This let me, is let, me, a, let me state my claim here for a second. This is a different topic. I think you're talking about GMOs. No, 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 I'm not. I just mean like. All right. I feel like some technologies are 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 better than others. I feel like we shouldn't go full throttle on everything. I feel like we should <laughs> kind to we should kind of. Well, don't shake your fucking head, God I'm Shaking my head. Yeah, Jesus I'm shaking Lord. my head. I feel like I feel like we shouldn't go full throttle. I feel like we should. Shit, we're not going full throttle. I feel like you this, haven't even heard about it. No, yet. no, no. Wait a second. Because we're gonna get there eventually. Yeah, we're gonna and get I'm there. I'm talking everything. probably we're, probably not in my lifetime. Ev everything with technology where yeah we're gonna get there as long as humans are still around there is no like what is the counter argument are you making me forget here <laughs> what is the counter argument you're making me forget you shut the fuck let up let me say one thing what is, what, is the counter say. what's the counter argument to lab grown meat if it's just as nutritious if not more so just as flavorful just as basically everything know, basically sounds... everything except for the fact that you don't need to kill any animals to make it and you don't need as many animals either you don't need as much land for them. You don't need as much water for them. You don't need the greenhouse gases they emit. Like this uh, lab-grown meat obviously has a long way to go. But <laughs> the positive ups, upsides of it are far outweigh the negatives. And if you look at what we're doing with GMOs now, I mean, people are willing to forego decades of research in order to uh, 
you know, just get fast patents on genetic modification. But then you have lab-grown meat that could drastically reduce the negative impact yeah. of uh, carnivorism on humanity. And then I also wonder, <coughs> you know, when we have lab-grown meat, what will be the vegans' moral excuse? They could still say they don't trust the science behind it. And, you know, you're saying the kind of same kind of thing, and that's a valid opinion, obviously, you know, even if I just kind of shut you down a little bit, but... A lot of vegans, and like, I'm not a vegan, obviously, I'm not speaking for them, but I hear a lot of times they say they don't eat meat because they don't like the thought of killing animals. You know, there's a lot of vegans that don't eat meat because they don't like the taste or it feels wrong to them, like, physically, you know, like, it doesn't sit well with their stomachs or whatever. But <clears throat> you have lab-grown meat, and most of the arguments that a vegan uses in those moral cases are now gone. You're not killing animals anymore, you're not using the vast amount of resources it takes to feed them and rear them, you've got less disease and less less uh, hormones and all that you know negative shit that factory farms put in there. I really wonder what, you know, how many people this would convert, I'll say that. Not, not that I think that vegans are, you know, wrong or anything, but if, th if there was a vegan yesterday because cows were being killed for meat, would they be a vegan tomorrow if meat was being grown in a petri dish? Yeah, because, well, no, because majority of vegans, they're doing it because they don't or want... Or vegetarian, uh, whatever the term is. Well, vegan, vegetarian, because they don't want uh, one of the V's. Because they don't want animals to be killed. That's majority of... They're not, majority are not doing it because they want to be healthy. Healthier. They're doing it because they don't want to hurt the precious fucking animals and blah blah. Anyway... What I was saying before, motherfucker, before you cut me off. <laughs> You're going back to this, aren't you? Yeah, I am. This, this guy is like, we've been drinking for a little while, if you don't know yet. And it's the Drunken Thursday Night Podcast. Uh, you know, I gotta, you know, say this because <laughs> I feel like, uh, I feel like, personally, and my name is Blake Michael Foster, if you want to fucking, you know, uh... Everything he just says is a lie. It's not his real name. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to, uh, you know, call me out on this, um... My name is uh, Matt Schilling, by the way, if you want to call me out on my bullshit. I'm sure you've seen me on YouTube before if, you know, you're an angry poster just like I am. Yeah, feel free to, you know. I, I, we welcome that, honestly. I, yeah. an angry post, you know, we welcome it. Exactly. If you, if you, get, if you have thin here. skin, we invite you to listen to the podcast. Cheers. Anyway, I believe that majority of what we have uh, discovered so far as far as you know, medical stuff and anything like that, space travel, things like that, we should keep, obviously. But I feel like majority of what we do as far as entertainment goes, I feel like we, we need to go back to natural. We need to uh, regress as far as, um, you know, uh, social media and things like that. I feel like we need to go back to a natural, more of a natural state of living, even houses, I feel like. Uh, well, let me finish. <laughs> and, I, and we need to keep the uh, modern advances in medicine. I feel like we need to keep things like that, of course, right? Okay, so things that worked back in the day, like, you know, uh, I feel like uh, almost like people... Okay, for instance, if I go to, like, say, the DMV, and I start up a conversation with some motherfucker, Hey, how you doing? You know, I, majority of the time, I'm going to get nervous eyes. I'm gonna get some guy that's just like, you know, what the fuck, you know, why are you talking to me all fucking nervous and crazy? And it's and it's because we have started this academic where we epidemic epidemic academic. Yeah. You know, the smart guy is <laughs> saying words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. I'm drunk. <laughs> to where we, uh, you know, talk to each other, you know, majority of the time through screens. And it's and it's killing our uh, our social skills. It's killing us. It's it's really is. It's, it's I mean, it's like pulling fucking teeth to get people off their fucking phones Dude, totally when right. I'm driving driving down the fucking street and they're at a fucking red light and a green light kicks in and they're on their fucking phones. I want to get out of the car and bash them in the fucking head. You know. Let me give you a challenge, YouTube. Next time you're in a place where you're waiting with other people you don't know, look around. See how many people are on their phones. If the answer is not 100%, then it must be a Disneyland or something because it's crazy. 
Oh man, it's how crazy. many people are on their phones? And look, technology is a double-edged sword, right? It is. First of all, we have this technology <laughs> that allows every single person to connect with every other single person on the planet instantly, basically. Exactly. You also have this infinite knowledge device at your fingertips. But then you bury your heads in it. Not, not you personally, YouTuber. I love you. You're, Gener the, you're, you're the best person that ever lived. Yeah. And uh, most people will bury their heads in their devices and not face reality. And I'm guilty of it too. You know, I'm not just passing the buck on other oh, people. Oh, yeah, me too. But I make a conscious effort whenever I'm around other people to put that goddamn thing back in my pocket and I'll look at it because it does me no good unless I'm trying to look up some information or, <coughs> you know, because what, what experience are you ignoring in your life to look at the next fucking thing on Facebook, right? What experience are you ignoring to hear Matt and Blake talk about bullshit on YouTube? You know, yeah, don't yeah, don't sacrifice what's happening now for us, or anything, or anything, for that matter. Do on your just damn phones. Experience now. Experience now. Like you know, if you, like he was saying, Matt was saying before, look around to see how many people are on your phones. How about look around for how many people who are in the same room as you, and get the fuck up and go introduce yourself to them, and experience them. Share some share some shit, you know. Hey, I'm you know Blake, whatever. I like fucking fucking chicks in the ass. <laughs> he likes fucking fucking. You know. You, how, hear, that, you hear that YouTube? How, how about you? You know, I like you know what yeah. I like fucking chicks in the ass too. All right, cool. Yeah, let's be go. friends. All right, that's you know, how we became friends. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, exactly. We both like anal sex. So, no, it's it, you know that's the point. I'm just all all kidding aside. It's uh, you know I'm being serious. You know just. Make the most out of your life. That's what I'm getting at. Because we're all going to fucking die soon, you know? Not, Very soon. not soon. Cosmically, it's soon, of course. In your life, <coughs> it, it'll be... Well, soon. Here's, it'll be a hundred years away. Let's do for, this. for you, individual listening to me, you're going to die in, when you're 95 and you've had 17 kids. Well, hopefully, hopefully. 17 kids have had 17 kids of their own. Yeah. Or, Let's do know, an experiment here. Let's do an experiment. Oh, boom. There goes the second. We'll never revisit. We'll never revisit that second again. Boom, 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 boom. Four seconds. Boom. Gone. Forever. I feel like I'm losing a lot of seconds listening to this. I will never revisit that second again. <laughs> again. Do you remember when I said... Boom, seconds, you remember that? Boom goes the dynamite? Yeah, it's gone, dude, forever. I, I, it's just the point I'm trying to make is that time is slipping by, my friends, and we need to make the most out of it. And if you're sitting here in your fucking computer chair listening to our bullshit, I say click it off. No, no, don't click. Keep listening. Give no. us more views. No, no, no. He doesn't know what he's talking about. No, I say... Listen to our podcast and then go outside. Well, yeah, that too. Yeah, listen to our podcast, fine. But you know, because we'll we'll give you more valuable life knowledge that we've hard fought over the course of many police uh, interrogations and. Uh, well, you know, we've been there, and you know, we'll tell you some stories later. But honestly, if I'm being honest, I love the human race more than I do myself, and more than I do making money because money is bullshit. Click us off and go out and have a good time. Go out, drink yourself to a drunken stupor, go out, do as many drugs as you can, go out, see some fucking music, see a movie, be with friends, be with girlfriends, have fun. Have fucking fun before you die. Please. For you. Not for me. Not for Matt. For you. Thank you very much. This is Matt and Blake, the Mutants, and we love you. Have a good night, YouTube.